Today we're checking out the latest addition to the FMS FCX24 lineup, the new Lemur. Built around the familiar and tried and true FCX24 crawler platform, this new rig features a cool new nylon tubular body, some oversized tires, and some cool new features in here that separate this from other FCX24 models. So we're going to take a closer look at this thing. I'm going to go over the key features for you, highlighting the differences with this model versus previous models. We'll put it on the setup table to see how it performs, and then we'll get it on the indoor course to see how it drives. Great looking new rig. I'm excited to check it out. So let's get into it. So let's take a look at the lemur. So this is an interesting take on the FCX24. In the description of this model, it's focused on more high-speed off-roading. It's kind of like a rock racer, not like a pure rock crawler. This is why we get the high stance, we get the buggy style chassis, we get these big oversized BFG tires. The way it looks and behaves, and you'll see when we get into driving it, it's not like your traditional hardcore rock crawler. This is going to be more at home, pounding through the trails, going over more flat terrains at speed. With that said, this new tubular chassis does give you some mighty impressive approach and departure angles, but we'll see how those translate into performance when we get on the course. So let's talk about the key features of the lemur. Most notably on this new model is this cool new tubular chassis. So this is a nylon tubular cage, sits on top of the familiar FCX24 nylon chassis. It's a small, minimalistic, scale-looking body. It's got a driver and a co-driver in here. The interior is pretty well detailed for what it is. It does have a little navigation screen here, a little steering wheel. We have these painted panels. This does come in three different colors. I have the orange, but it does come in two other options. There's a black and red and a green. Up top, we do have a functioning light bar. You operate that with the transmitter. This does get a new set of wheels and tires. So we've got these 1.2 inch beadlock plastic wheels wrapped in these BFG tires. These are tall. I think these are around 65 millimeters. A narrower tire though. They feel like they do not have any foams in them. I run these same tires on our Atlas 6x6 build. If you haven't seen that video, I just put these tires on the Atlas. These feel much softer, mainly because there's no insert in them. We've got a tubular style front bumper. It looks like we've got spots for headlights, but there are no other functioning lights on this beyond the light bar. In the back, there's no bumper. We just have these kind of rectangular end on the tubular chassis. We've got a fuel tank in the back that also doubles as your battery box. You open that up, there is your 2S LiPo battery that comes with this. The power switch is tucked nicely into the chassis right here. One of the coolest features on this is that it comes with oil-filled shocks right out of the box. So one of the things that the FCX24 suffered with tremendously was that really bouncy suspension right out of the box. You could convert them to oil, they gave you the kit to do it, but the lemur comes ready to go already oil filled so you get none of that bounce it's much more composed feels much better so that was a pleasant surprise beyond those immediate key features a lot of this is the same it features the same 130 brushed motor made it to the two-speed transmission which is operated on channel three of the transmitter you can see we have the variable speed servo underneath here you can see the motor and transmission tucked in here it has the two-in-one receiver and esc combo Tucked up in under this hood panel. Up front, we've got a metal geared servo sitting on top of the tried and true FCX24 portal axles. Now, these are running composite gears in the diffs, but you do get metal portal gears out by the wheels. Underneath, we've got slider style drive shafts and a multi link suspension setup. Like other FCX24s, this does come ready to run. Comes with your USB charger here, your multi tool. Comes with the 2.4 gigahertz three channel transmitter here. This transmitter does have multifunctionality. Using the bind button and the reverse button, you can toggle through various settings. It does have an adjustable drag brake. By hitting the reverse button twice, you open up the functionality of these four buttons here, which would typically be your steering and your throttle adjustments. You can cycle through your drag brake from zero to 100%. You're also able to reverse the throttle, reverse the steering, all by manipulating these buttons here. So just looking at the lemur, I'm really curious how this is going to perform. It's got kind of a, a stubby, compact look to it. It carries a lot of weight up high. So why don't we get this on the setup table? I'm eager to see how this performs objectively, and then we'll put it on the course to see how it does from a driving perspective. Real quick before I do that, I wanted to show you a quick size comparison here. This is my son's Cyclops FCX24 Power Wagon, but this is just kind of give you a sense of the size of this thing. So has the same wheelbase, track width, all that is the same. But you can see that the lemur body is much 
smaller, it's narrower. It is slightly longer though, mainly because the power wagon has just kind of this chopped rear end here. The lemur does have significantly bigger tires, which makes this sit up a little higher than the FCX24 power wagon. Here's that bounce. See that bounce? Compared to the lemur, that's the difference with oil shocks. Big, big difference. But just a quick size comparison here. All right, now let's get this thing on the setup table. Start with the RTI ramp travel index. See, we're coming off on the back there. I'd say 12 is where we're at on the RTI. Now let's do some side hilling. Thirty-five, forty, forty-five. 40, 45, let's say 47 on the side hill. Now the vertical. Forty-five, fifty, fifty-five. 55 on the vertical. Now let's take a look at the corner weight system. Total weight's 378 grams. Weight bias is 52% front, 48% rear. Here is the FCX24 lemur on the course. Cool looking little buggy. Those big BFG tires look massive on this thing. Plenty of ground clearance, chassis height to get through Articulation Alley. Loving those oil shocks, no bounce on this thing at all, very composed. Look at that, getting over the gatekeeper over here, no problem with that extra height. Now we'll see how these tires work. I'm a little concerned about the performance of these tires because I've run them on the Atlas, like I said, and struggled with them there, but we'll see how they do here. Slow crawl is excellent, like we've come to expect from the FCX24. This ESC receiver combo just works really well. And the two-speed transmission in the low gear, great functionality from a crawling perspective. Struggling on the canyon here. Hand of God action there. Let's get going here. Coming down the bridge. I've got this set with 100% drag brakes. I like a really strong drag brake. Again, all the clearance you need to get up and over those obstacles, getting up over that log there. I'm doing a Jeep wave over here. Let's see if I can save this. Oh, so close. Really like this chassis, the tubular chassis with the scale interior. Also like it's got the nice boat skids on the side. Reminds me of kind of a boxy Capra. Let's get into mini Moab, see how this does. That short, relatively short wheelbase and that tall height give me problems here. With some better tires, I think we could get a lot out of this, but the current setup is going to struggle here, I think. Let's try some side hill. Getting a 
we'll, oh, let's <laughs> say we're getting some lift there. How about going up the chute? Struggling a little bit to keep it planted. That front passenger side tire is trying to come up, but we made it. Try Hell's Gate. A lot of understeer with these tires. Having a hard time sticking a line. That was one of the things I was afraid of when I saw the tires that this was going to come with. There's just not a lot of grip on this surface. I'm anxious to see how it does outdoors, but definitely struggling on the indoor course here. Great approach and departure angle. Oh no. <laughs> so the height and the wheelbase of this thing are really combating each other. Whoa, we think we got it there. See if we can get out. <laughs> Try one more time. Three times is the rule. We come at more of an angle across. So I think therein lies the biggest challenge you're going to face with this truck is when you're actually trying to crawl with it, if that's what you want to do, you're going to struggle, I think, just because of how the chassis and the wheelbase are all set up. This thing's really going to be more at home, you know, clicking it in fast gear. Treating it kind of like a rock bouncer. Second gear is a little rowdy in here. They see us turn this thing loose, let those big tires help cushion you, those oil shocks. There we go. That's what it likes. It wants to go nuts. There we are. Performs a lot better with speed. Everything seems to work better and make much more sense in this approach. This is an axle buggy right here. He is going to love this. All right, I'm starting to have a lot of fun now. So I'm going to keep playing with this thing. And then I'll wrap it up and give you guys my final thoughts. The Lemur is a fun take on an already successful model. The FCX24 is a great platform. And FMS has given us an interesting spin on this truck. It's touted as a high speed crawler, but it seems to struggle really hard on the actual crawling part. And these BFG tires, although big and cool looking, definitely suffer when it comes to crawling. They just don't provide a whole lot of grip here. However, the lemur is really at home in second gear pounding through the rough stuff at speed. And I unfortunately didn't get a chance to do a whole lot of that because the weather and my schedule hasn't cooperated, but I'm really looking forward to getting this out on the trails and some wide open terrain. I think it'll be a lot of fun on a gravel road, a relatively smooth trail, so you, so you can really let the lemur do its thing. The oil-filled shocks, the extra ground clearance from the big tires and the portals are really gonna make this thing fun out on the trail. With that said, there is a plethora of FCX24 upgrades out there if you did wanna turn this into a crawler. We know what these things are capable of and you certainly could. With some brass down low, some new wheels and tires, I don't think it would take much to transform this into a crawling beast. So all in all, another fun release from FMS. This is available for order now. Like I said, it does come in three different colors. 
I'll put the link down in the description below if you want to pick one of these up. And let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. What do you think of the lemur, this new release? And as always, I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so. And I'll see you in the next video.